Studies consistently show that drivers, either in America or elsewhere, tend to rate themselves as above average. Depending on the study in the country surveyed, as many as 93% of respondents rate themselves so highly. Yet by definition, no more than 50% of us can actually be above average. Are we all just that clueless and self-centered? Well, maybe. Think for a moment about a scenario. Two cars on the highway, a Honda and a Porsche. The driver of the Honda putters along at exactly the speed limit, which is slower than almost every other driver. By contrast, the driver of the Porsche speeds along at 35 miles per hour over the limit, which is faster than almost every other driver. So the two cars are driving along the road, the Porsche comes up behind the Honda and passes it like it isn't even moving. It just zooms right on past. And the Honda owner thinks, wow, what a maniac in that Porsche. I'm a way better driver than they are. While the owner of the Porsche thinks, wow, what a slug driving that Honda. I'm a way better driver than them. That our two subjects give different answers to the question, which of the two of you is a better driver, is perfectly consistent because they define the term in different ways. The Porsche driver probably thinks that getting where you're going quickly matters a lot, and perhaps that driving too slowly causes more problems than it prevents, while the Honda driver probably favors safety and living with low stress. For driving isn't just a matter of objective skill, but also of philosophy. We all tailor how we drive based on our individual values, which we build based on our experiences, interactions and calculations. In a way, asking someone how they stack up as a driver is a bit like asking them something like, which religion is the best? We would expect most people, assuming they give the question the time of day, to rate the religion they follow as the best, because if they didn't think that, surely they'd change. Similarly, if you didn't think that your driving habits were wise, surely you'd adjust and then you probably come to think that your new habits make you above average all over again. So while a degree of cluelessness surely plays a part in all those above average drivers, I think the single biggest factor is that we self-select our driving philosophies and rate our own abilities on the scale of our choosing. But what do you think? Leave your theories and ideas in the comments below. Thank you for watching.